Welcome to Kenilworth, a market town in North Warwickshire that's just bursting with wildlife. I'm Sarah Owen and I'll be your guide as we explore the range of habitats and animals that make this place their home. We've got a lot to do, so let's get on with the Local Patch Project Series 2. has been a year of unprecedented challenges. The coronavirus pandemic has seen the whole country locked down for months. We've been stuck indoors, unable to get on with our lives in the way that we want to. Shops and businesses have begun to reopen, but things are still not fully back to normal. There are so many people who are stuck sheltering in place with no real end in sight. The time spent during lockdown has seen many people's interest in their local nature spots increase, and we think that's absolutely brilliant. Nearby woodlands and nature reserves have seen a huge uptick in the number of people visiting them and many are learning to reconnect with their environment. We have decided to take the time to celebrate our own local wildlife here in Kenilworth. Now looking around, you may think that this is a very urbanised space. And you're right, it is. But Kenilworth is home to some very special nature sites and we're going to show you around. We're on our way to our first stop, Abbey Fields. Abbey Fields is one of the largest parks in Kenilworth. It gets its name from St Mary's Abbey, the remains of which can still be seen today. It's an important heritage site and registered as a scheduled ancient monument. As well as some important history, there's lots of marvellous wildlife that makes its home here. There's a large lake which supports many bird and fish species and the Finham Brook flows through the park. Abbey Fields is a great place for the people of Kenilworth to come and connect with nature. It's an accessible spot where you can take some time out of the day to appreciate the local wildlife. Of course, one of the more popular activities here is feeding the ducks. But did you know that feeding bread to ducks is actually unhealthy? The Canals and Rivers Trust has been on a mission to help improve the health of our ducks and have suggested sweet corn, peas and oats as more nutritious alternatives for our feathered friends. We've got some peas here today to feed our ducks in Abbey Fields. Walking upstream along Finham Brook, and we find ourselves at Kenilworth Castle, the magnificent remains of a medieval castle. The structure itself has been here since the 12th century and seen many important historical events possibly including the French insult to Henry V, which paved the way to the 1415 Battle at Agincourt. The castle itself is surrounded by a large amount of farmland, which provides habitats for a number of species, including swifts, wood pigeons, long-tailed tits and robins. As you can see, Kenilworth really is a wild place, but some of the best nature in the town can only be spotted at dusk. So we've come back to be closer to the castle so we can stand by this tree line and have a look for some bats. Bats are the only true flying mammal and they're a fascinating group of species to study. Although they're not blind, at night they're very reliant on their hearing to hunt for insects using echolocation. To echolocate, bats will send out a series of high frequency sounds from their mouth or nose. These sound waves bounce back towards the bat and the bat uses these echoes to work out their surroundings and where potential prey is. Each bat species uses a different frequency of sound to echolocate, and these can be detected using an echometer. So all the calls these bats are making are actually really loud, but they're so high pitched that we can't hear them. A detector like this will pick up the echolocation and slow it down enough for humans to hear it. Each bat species makes different sounds, like clicks and slaps, and these can be used to identify what we're hearing, which is why we have this guide. You can get echometers, like this Magenta 5, and guides online. So if bat detecting is something you're interested in, why not buy one and have a go? Let's go look for some bats. What we're hearing is a nocturnal bat sounding at 15 kilohertz on the echometer. Yes, 
So that was a common pistol. These bats can be heard at 45 kilohertz. They're from the same family as a soprano pistol, but you can tell the difference because a soprano is heard at 55 kilohertz. Oh wow, oh, bat detecting really is so special. It's just incredible to get such an insight into the hidden world of these fascinating creatures. So that was a very brief look at some of Kenilworth's wild spaces and the amazing species that make this town their home. We'll see you again next time when we explore our local nature reserves. Thank you.